Guys, huyu ni mkenya mwenzetu na ametolewa kidney, aliambiwa tu waende hospitali, yeye hakuwa anajua wanaenda kufanya nini, akaanza kufanyiwa operation. Kenyans please. Kenyans please. Kama we sio mgonjwa usiitikie kufanyiwa operation yoyote. Na kama we ni mgonjwa kuja ufanyiwa operation vizuri huku Kenya vizuri. Nataka msikize na mumuone. Na najua kuna watu wenye watapinga na watanitusi, he, lakini ni sawa tu sikizeni. Baria juni wenzangu. Hapa Saudi tuwe makini sana. Huyu msichana alipewa chakula na waiguru wake. Akapewa pizza, akara, kisha tumbo ikaanza kumuma. Akaambiwa pere kwa hospitali. Kupere kwa hospitali pale amefika. Akafanywa operation. Kufanywa operation kubwa ametolewa viko. Sababu ni gani? Huyu waiguru wake akona mtoto wake pale mgonjo. Inasemekana kwa nashia anaikuwa anahitaji figo. Sasa ametolewa figo yake mtoto wa madam wa bosi wake akapewa. Sasa yamebaki tu hivyo. Na hii mashine yote hapa Saudi jamii. So guys, msijaribu kuitikia. Hata kama unaona wewe ni mgonjwa kabisa kabisa, tafuta mtu mwenye atakusaidia. Mtu atakuwa anakuja kukuangalia vile unaendelea. Hizi hii video nimetumiwa na watu wengi sana na wajui anatoka anjesi, anjenzi gani lakini nimesikia akiongea Kiswahili ya Mwambasa guys kama unajua huyu dem tafadhali niambie ofisi yenye ilienda alienda nayo na please guys mkiona nikiweka vitu hapa mkuwe muna share tuone vile tutamsaidia tuna aweze kurudi Kenya Tafadhali wa Kenya please help me to share this video. Nisaidieni kushare hii video. Uwezi jua kama next who is next. Mtoto wa wenyewe alienda na kidneys, ametolewa kidney ikapewa mtoto without even without even a consent. Ametolewa kidney kama ajui. Imagine guys, mimi hata niliona hiyo kidonda. Niliona guys, wacheni niwaambie Waarabu kuna Waarabu wabaya. Kuna Waarabu wabaya my friend. Una, unapeleka mtu waje operation. Guys, mimi I personally nimeona, nimeona hana kidini. Hana kidini. Si uongo ako na kidini moja. Ako na kidini moja na nimeona video. Kuna ile video yenye ni sensitive sana siyezi yeka hapa. Mejaribu kueka YouTube wakatoa. Nikajaribu kueka tena YouTube wakatoa. Uyu msichana ajulikani ofisi yenye alienda na ayo Saudi. Watu wanasema wa mujui. Nisaidieni tu kushare. At least nikipata ofisi yake it will be on a better position. Tafadhali tuokoe maisha ye, yake. She's our sister, she's our mother, she's our sister in law, she's the grandmother to be. Sahi alitoka Kenya kwenda kutafuta maisha yake ya kesho, maisha ya watoto wake wa kesho, ya kesho, lakini leo hii as we speak. Ako na maumivu, alikuwa ameenda kama domestic worker. Na munajua Saudi Arabia hata unaweza pewa nini bed rest ya one month lakini ukirudi kwa nyumba immediately uambiwe uingie muje hii. Uyu msichana anapitia mangumu sana according to that video yenye nimeona na guys please. Munajua sahi tunaelekea Ramadhan. I'm very sure awawezi kumuacha apumzike. Watamufanyisha kazi na hiyo maumivu. Guys, ukitamka, ukiomba, tamka neno moja kuhusu huyu msichana wetu. Tamka neno moja kuhusu Gladys Wanjiku Nganga pia yeye ako ICU 
uh, na PGD PGD agency wamekataa kumrudisha kwa sababu wanasema alikuwa kemboi. Wanasema alikuwa kemboi lakini ako hali maututi guys akiwa maeneo ya Saudi Arabia since 2019 up to 2024 hako ICU na we don't know we don't know Ndio maana niliwaambia guys wacha nikuwe nawaambia hizi maneno afadhali munichukie lakini kitu ingia kwa akili ama kitu istiki kwa akili yenye itakuja kukukumbusha So guys uh, uyu he Kukemboi, usione mtu alikemboi akajenga kwao akanunua maploti akanunua gari na wewe utake kukemboi kila mtu anakuanga na bahati yake na hata ujui ni kwa nini huyo mtu alikemboi please ladies akina urudia tafadhali maisha ya Saudi Arabia ikikushinda afadhali urudi Kenya Afadhali kutesekea Kenya mali unaweza enda kuomba ango yako kasukari, anti yako ka majani, uh, your neighbors kaunga, zijui your your, your, your mom unaweza enda kumuona, your dad, eh, your sister, your brother, hm? Kuliko kutesekea Saudi Arabia na hata hakuna mtu mmoja wa familia anakuja kukuona. Mimi mwenyewe niliona video ya Gladys Wanjiku. Tumbo ikajaa maji mpaka nikalia guys. Akiwa hali maututi. Sasa hizo agent anaongea kama anakufa leo. Hmm? Na agent huyo uh, agent alikuwa right guys. Kwa sababu wakati ambao tunaenda huko tuna kemboi. Eh? Alafu tunaanza Gladys tangu 2019 alituma mshahara wake once only once Alituma only once guys Akona mtoto mtoto wake ako form 3 Ndio maana nawaambia sio rahisi Tabitha wa mboi amefika juzi hapa Kenya akiwa maiti aliacha watoto wadogo za hii watoto ni wakubwa yani he Hii kukemboi guys. Mimi yani sijatusi kemboi na jaribu kuambia sio lazima ukemboi na sio lazima ukiona mwenzako akiishi maisha mazuri pia wewe utake kukemboi. Tafadhali guys, people are suffering out there silently. Hakuna kitu yenye hainanga majaribu, hakuna kitu yenye hainanga changamoto. Wenye wako kwa contract wako na changamoto. Wenye ni maranawe makemboi bado wako na wako na changamoto guys. Mtu asijaribu kukudanganya. Usi usibebewe akili na mtu. Ndio maana unaona wamejaa kwa inbox za watu. Hizi WhatsApp group hizi wapoteze. Unaona mtu akikwambia ati na kemboisha watu for free. Eh? Al-Kasim, Al-Bahar, Riyadh, Damam, hmm? Guys, think twice. Jiulize wewe mwenyewe ni kwa nini ulitoka Saudi ni Kenya? Uh, kwetu kuko hivi na hivi. Nilitoka Kenya nisomeshe watoto wangu kwa sababu bwana yangu tuli alinidivorce akaoa bibi mwingine. Nilitoka Kenya nijengee mamangu. Nilitoka Kenya kwa sababu mamangu ni single mother na naonanga akiteseka ni mubaye shamba na ni mjengee. Ndio sasa majirani waachange kumchekelea. Hmm? Nilitoka Kenya ndio nikaweze kwenda kuanzisha biashara yangu nikirudi. Nilitoka Kenya ndio sasa nikienda nijisomeshe, eh? Niz, nijisomeshe, niende college, niende university, nimalizie shule. Hmm? Lakini kama hauta kama haut, haujui ni kwa nini ulitoka Saudi Arabia, definitely. Na kama kuna kitu naambianga watu na mimi hata mtu akinikujia aniambia anataka kukemboi na muulizanga ofisi yako ni gani Nitume kwa ofisi yako niende niongee na agent hata kusaidia kuliko kukemboi Yes sijasema kukemboi ni kubaya kukemboi sa zingine you just save your life there is a time when you can boy you just save your time maybe you they were raping you maybe they were not paying you maybe they were beating you but umeongea na agent akakwambia nini ukienda pale kwa tiktok uji record utasaidika sio lazima ukemboni okay guys 
So huyu ni mwenzetu. Please I urge you guys please naomba tu munisaidie kushare hii video. Hata kama tutajua watu wao ama ofisi at least mwenzetu arudi Kenya. At least we file a case. Kwa sababu hakuna alienda akienda akienda Saudi Arabia alifanyiwa medical karibu tatu. She was medically fit. She was having figo zake zote mbili. Mbona aende atolewe figo moja na hakukuwa mgonjwa? Figo iko wapi? Wa Saudi wanataka yani kuwa vesti mpaka maini, macho, sijui masikio, sijui nini. Kwanza huu msimu wa Ramadhan. Najua mtanitusi, mtatetea wa Arabu, but it is what it is. These people, they are harvesting parts of our bodies. Just be very careful. Uzienda hospitali hivo hivo. Unaenda hospitali wa huko mgonjwa, unajipata, umetolewa figo, umetolewa maini, umetolewa sijui what. Some Arabs watachomeka sana na moto na vile wanajifanyanga unaona mtu anaombanga mara tano kwa siku. Eh, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry but guys please share this video. Only thing yenye nataka ni kujua watu wa huyu msichana ama kwa sababu na guys please stop sharing video to me already nimeipata. Na guys please Musiitikie kufanyiwa operation na rudia tu kama wewe ni mgonjwa na imefikia mahali pa kufanyiwa operation afadhali wakusafirishe uende Kenya kwa sababu Kenya mamako wakikupeleka Kinyata University Kinyata Hospital aone auendelee vizuri atakuhamisha hapo Kinyata akupeleke Mata Hospital lakini ukiwa Saudi Arabia utafanyiwa maoperation zenye hata hazijulikani Utaanza kusafa hapo. They will not even Saudi Arabia kuna mamako ama sister yako ama babako ama brother yako. They don't care if you die or you survive. Na sasa hizo they are they have already invested your parts of the body. So guys please nisaidieni kushare. Ni I'm begging you guys. Please help me to share this video. Huyu anaweza kuwa ni sister yako, anaweza kuwa ni sister in law wako. Anaweza kuwa ni mtoto wako. Please Sio kupenda kwake alijia alijipata tu eh? na nikatumiwa video yenye iko very sensitive akitolewa kidney hmm? kidney ilienda wapi tunataka mimi hata si kuwa na hey. guys subscribe and share widely bye bye